the Ghent altarpiece is one of the most sought after and most influential pieces of art to date. To many, including Hitler, possessing such a piece symbolized power and prestige. It also holds religious importance in the Catholic Church and led the way for the future of oil painting. It does seem like an exaggeration to claim that one piece of art can be the most influential piece of its time and still to this day. However, the painting created by Hubert van Eyck, then finished by Jan van Eyck, definitely exceeds the expectations of this title. Just to give you some insight into how powerful this piece was, let's talk about a little history. When the painting was finished in 1432, it was one of the very first paintings that used oil paint. It also showed immense detail, like nothing anyone had ever seen in the past. Figures in the Ghent altarpiece are painted very realistically. Even Adam's foot appears to step out of the frame. In 1566, Protestant militants tried to steal the piece with the intent of burning it. Catholic guards saved the piece by disassembling it and hiding it away, which left the piece unharmed. It was then stolen during the Napoleonic Wars, then returned back to Ghent. After that, it was sold in parts after a vicar in St. Bavo stole it. It ended up in the Berlin Museum after it was sold several times. It went into hiding by a cathedral cannon during World War I. The Treaty of Versailles brought the piece together again in St. Bavo, Ghent. Two panels, the Just Judges and St. John the Baptist, were stolen in 1934. While the St. John the Baptist panel has since been returned, the Just Judges is still missing to this day. During World War II, it was sought after by both Hitler and Göring. It was stored in the Schloss Neuschwanstein after Hitler ordered the painting to be seized. After numerous attacks to the castle, the painting was moved to the Altasse salt mine. After the painting was rescued by the monument's men, they were returned to the St. Babu Cathedral in Ghent, Belgium. Now why were these paintings so sought after? I mean, the piece has been stolen at least seven times in its lifetime. One reason is the fact that the piece represents the very core of Catholicism. It depicts very important figures that are significant in Catholicism, such as the Virgin Mary, God, John the Baptist, Adam and Eve, and the Archangel Gabriel. Even the commissioners, Eudokus Figd, and his wife were painted in the piece praying. This painting was also the first major painting to use oil paint. Oil paint has been used in many great art pieces since then, such as the Mona Lisa and in Starry Night. The significance of this is the fact that it popularized a whole new type of media artists could use to create art. Another reason it's so sought after is the fact that there is so much detail in the piece. The piece was taken over by Jan van Eyck after his brother Hubert van Eyck died and could not complete the piece. Jan van Eyck is known for his illuminated miniatures and his attention to detail. The detail is so great in the piece that some even believe that Jan van Eyck put his self-portrait in one of the gems. There is also great mystery hiding behind the painting. Where's the final panel? Would it ever be returned? Which brother made which part of the painting? Who was the main contributor to the Ghent altarpiece? With new technology, we can compare past paintings with this collaboration to see which parts are done by whom, but only some parts of the painting can be singularly identifiable as one artist's painting. So why is this piece one of the most influential pieces of art to date? Well, it's been attacked and stolen for many different reasons such as religious reasons and greed. Since it has been so sought after by so many, this has influenced many to go to great lengths to retrieve the painting. Not only has the painting influenced people to commit crimes, but it has also paved the way for many great oil paintings, demonstrating tiny details and the advantages of slow drying paint. It obviously holds great religious significance, especially in the Catholic Church. The Ghent altarpiece's influence has created new ways for artists to experiment and create. Its influence has taught others of the Catholic story. Its influence has put anger in some to the point of destruction. It also has put admiration in others to the point of abduction. The Ghent altarpiece's influence has so many different types of influence that it has become widely known as one of the most influential pieces of art.